Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how you can build a financial dashboard in Airtable. So, you have to open Airtable and then you have to press this create button and then you have to press start from scratch and it will create a new base for you. Here, what you have to do is uh, you get a view and uh, first of all, let's, let's name our base. So, I'm going to name my base this and I'm going to change its color to orange. So, that's it. We get a great view and uh, to make a financial dashboard we would first have to delete all of these fields because we don't need them uh, actually let's keep the status field and delete the signing field so uh, what we're gonna do is we are going to rename this field called total that's perfect and then we're gonna press save so this is a total budget field and then this is a status field that we're gonna move uh, and we're gonna add a new field uh, which is a single line text and I'm gonna name it budget spend that's perfect uh, press create field and move it right next to total budget that's perfect now what you have to do is do you can add the items on which you spend your budget on um, items so you can add item purchased and you can select single line or or what you can do is you can select long text and you can press create field and you can add them right next to this and by the way I don't think we need the status field anymore because we added item purchase so you just delete it and you can add as many fields as you like for example you can add the people who purchase the items people who people who purchased that is perfect so here we can add the people who purchased data so we can know which person has spent how many money so let's say that we uh, so total budget let's say our total budget was fifteen hundred dollars and our budget spent uh, was seven fifty so the items we purchased were we purchased uh, food clothes and you can add uh, a lot of other items that you purchase then you uh, can add the people who purchased that item for example if it was your mother you can add mom dad whatever whoever purchased that data so this is how you can build a basic, very basic financial board to keep track of all of your finances. I hope this tutorial was helpful. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks.